he's going to be able to wreck face. Although Omen might win the early game. Come mid, come late game, KG will be really difficult to match up against just because of how much better he scales than this Omen. So it's going to be quite a bit of a hairy here. If you have that crowd control, well, he got the one word to counter that. The anti, the anti-CCs. And it seems like Evos, they go in, wrap around at the man. Spotting out Albao does go for a charge, looking to maybe follow it up because he does have fall right behind him. Poka, though, has to run away. Now the man joins in onto the fight. He can get pulled in, and this is bad for Poka. One more auto attack, and that should be it. And easy gets it. They're going to be okay because the only one who would want them to go 0-2 is Olympus. That'll actually tile out the points. Now, back to the ball game. Hans will be eating the ultimate of EZ there. Crixy for victory. Polka is going to be the second disaster strike here. He does get over the wall, but Shaolin follows him up. There is the burst. Fall does activate the Diao Chan ultimate. They're diving in. Polka gets caught out once again. What a quick succession. Spectacularly well for them. Shaolin's not done. He's actually diving in. He forces Weir out to go right with him and baits him in with the team. Weir out, though, does not get caught out just yet. Hans does have to escape from that one. There was, of course, a teammate right at the side. Outcast is winning this duel against Y Force. He tries to go in, but Shaolin from out of nowhere found it out once again. There it is. Big, big ultimate there from Albao. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is actually going to be able to just suck them right in, followed up by Omen. That's two members knocked away from Evo's Esports. Evos can't really defend it. They have to back away. Big damage again from Easy, just throwing out his uh, his AOE, his wave there. And here it goes. Albao just flickers in, follows it up. There's the knockup. They do absorb quite a bit of damage from the Nexus in the tower. And this goes onto the wayside. They can't make anything happen. Although the man is here, although Outcast is still alive, this still this is still a three versus two. And with the Nexus being exposed, can Y Force really do it? He doesn't have an ultimate, so the crowd controls of HKA are hitting him, are actually denying him the ability to whack a mole anybody from the opponent's side, and that should be it. Nexus exposed, Nexus destroyed. Game one for Hong Kong attitude. They're going to go try to initiate the dragon. And this is what I liked. When Hans actually went for the mid lane, he basically gave a lot of control already for Evos to be able to just roam around. Hans, though, this is out of my hands. This is not looking good. Follows it up. Spots out Weera a little bit too overzealous, a little bit too overextended. You're going to be catching Polka once again. He does use the ultimate, catches onto the one. That means that there's no more stasis for Fall. He did have his teammates right beside him. I don't think Shaolin will actually drop here. There was the follow-up onto Hans. I'm not sure where he actually came from with just like a sliver of HP. But he made a... They're following up. He's sticking. Weira has is doing... Really good damage, but not good enough. There's the dive in once again from Shaolin. Running away with the game. They're going to be able to get a little bit more in terms of the objectives here. Take out a, at least another tower, maybe. Polka, though, using his ultimate. Are they really going to engage here onto Albao? The thing is, this is an Annette. She can use her ultimate to push everybody back. Here comes Shaolin, and this is Evos. They don't need this fight. They don't need to go in, but they did. And now four are gone. Y-Force is the one to remain, but I don't think he can stop five members of Evos, or rather of HKA, from pushing in. And now they can get this mid-tier 3 if they wanted to. This is going to be really difficult for them. And Y-Force is in a 1v5 with 15 seconds left onto the clock. I think that's enough time for HKA to take away at the second game, destroy that Nexus, and basically game over. Y-Force going in front of HKA, but fronting against a 5-man is suicidal unless you have the god genes in you. Did you put on your god jeans? Looks not. Y Force, stay down. And this is Hong Kong attitude. Look at that attitude from Hong Kong, raising their fingers.